this product in itself is not great for reapplication on top of your makeup. Look at how gorgeous the packaging is. I absolutely love the packaging on this one. Hello Linda, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be testing out and reviewing newly launched products in the Indian market. Now, when it comes to new launches, literally so many brands are launching so many different products left, right and center and it's so difficult to keep a track on which brand is launching what. But I managed to get my hands on a few things which grabbed everyone's attention and mine too. So in case if you guys want to know what I feel about these new launches, whether or not if it's worth your money, then please continue watching. So let me quickly grab skincare products and talk about them because I only have two, sorry, three. <laughs> So first two products are by Conscious Chemist. Now these are their newly launched Snail Magic Collection. Now this is supposed to be like an affordable version of the very infamous Snail Mucin from Cosrx. I've used that in the past and it's amazing. So I think the brand wanted to create something like that but for the Indian market. So I have their facial cleanser. Now this is their barrier repair face cleanser. It has a very nice, you know, floral fragrance to it. I do not mind fragrances in my face washes because wo face pe zyada time rehta nahi hai, so it's absolutely fine the thing that i liked about it is that it lathers really well it has certain ingredients in there which i am a huge fan of like it has centella asiatica also hyaluronic acid obviously then snail concentrate as well as green tea leaves extract which is supposed to be really calming and you know very soothing to your skin so i do like the overall feel of it and how it lathers well on my skin but at the same time it does not leave my skin feeling dry and stretchy it's not one of those most gentle cleansers out there that i've tried but it's good for the price point it's good i've used quite a bit of it as you guys can see here next up also from the snail magic line i have their barrier repair all-in-one cream so i love the texture on this one it sort of reminds me of the kosar x wala he moisturizer but it does not have that stickiness to it if you guys have used the kosar x wala moisturizer it has that you know sticky and stretch this one doesn't have that i think they've used only like 10 percent of snail mucin concentrate in formulating these products wherein the cosrx one the major part of their ingredient is mostly snail mucin which is the reason why it has that very you know sticky chip chipa hut wala you know texture to it which is the reason why i feel like it's not as moisturizing as i would like it to be it sinks into my skin nicely and beautifully however it doesn't feel as moisturizing so if you're someone who's i think oily and who lives in in a humid city then i think this one would work for you however if you're more on the dry or super dry skin type you might not really like this as much it does the job it's a decent moisturizer but it's not something that i would run home about you know next up i have the infamous aqua logica sunstick now literally every other blogger has been talking about this sunstick and even non-bloggers as well so i thought you know what let me just give it a try now this is supposed to be like a stick with variant of their already infamous sunscreen that they sell in that yellow wala packaging so this variant is supposed to be like a dewy stick however it has more of a matte finish to it i use the sun stick mostly on those days when i know i'm not going to be applying any makeup because it leaves like a film behind on your face it feels extremely matte and gives your face that matte look and it doesn't really sit that well underneath makeup sun stick is supposed to be really helpful especially if you're someone who likes wearing makeup you can just go and uh, this will help you with the reapplication however this product in itself is not great for reapplication on top of your makeup if you're someone who doesn't like wearing makeup who only wears like tint and kajal and stuff like that then maybe you can use this for reapplication but if you like full blown makeup karte ho with skin tint concealer and all of that then this is definitely not the one for you because it makes your skin look so patchy it makes your foundation look so patchy i am not really a huge fan of it and i don't think so it's worth the hype and worth everybody talking about it do not fall for that scam you guys next up i have this duo by minimalist this is their nanopeptide plus aha six percent underarm roll-on if you guys saw my nika pink sale haul you guys would have seen that i bought this and ever since then i've been trying and testing it out and i have my verdict on it i am not a fan 
of this Dio stick, okay? If you guys are an OG, you would know how much I love and adore my Dio sticks. I am a huge fan of Dio stick is because it's very fuss free. Lagane ke baad rukhna nahi padta hai to wear your clothes and stuff. But I've never tried anything like this, like an exfoliating deodorant on myself ever before. So I thought, you know what, let me give this a try. And since I already enjoy minimalist ka products so much, I was very intrigued and I thought, yehi use kar leti hu kyunki ye naya launch hua hai. So let me go ahead and give it a shot. Now this is one of those exfoliating deodorants which is not only supposed to control your body odor but it's also supposed to help with the pigmentation that you have on your underarms. Let's talk about the body odor aspect of it. Now this controls your body odor, yes. However, if you are someone who sweats a lot and who has an extremely strong body odor, I think this would not really work that well on you because at the end of the day, I do tend to smell myself a little bit, especially on my clothes. If I sweat a little too much, I can smell that sweatiness. Now coming back to the fact that this would help you with your underarm pigmentation or not, then let me tell you, it will, but would like, 10% okay now I'm someone who doesn't really who isn't comfortable showing my underarms because I do have pigmentation on my underarms it's something that I got from my mama so you would never go missing like <laughs> because it's just not something that I'm comfortable with so yeah I did notice a subtle difference but not too much and another thing that I noticed whenever I applied this deodorant on my underarms it just burns a little bit. I don't know why. It always, always burns. Tell me one thing. If you guys have used anything like this, like an exfoliating duo stick, is that supposed to happen or is just, it's just me? Like, I have no clue. Do not really enjoy applying it on myself. Next up, I have this strobe cream by Dot & Key. This is the Strawberry Dew in the Spotlight Strobe Cream. It retails for 3.99 rupees and I absolutely love the packaging of it. And that's the only thing that I like about this product, okay? Now, if you guys saw the shots that I recently posted or if you guys follow me on Instagram, I recently posted a reel reviewing this bad boy and uh, you know, strobe cream is supposed to give you that glow from within kind of a look and it's supposed to be that moisturizer mixed in with a little bit of a glow kind of a feeling to your face. But this one doesn't do any of that. It does have that glow, but somehow it just doesn't translate onto your skin and it just goes flat. And one thing I noticed that it has a very strong, like very strong strawberry fragrance to it. Although the fragrance is really nice and yummy, but it's super strong. So if you're someone who's extremely sensitive to fragrances, I think you might not react that well to this product. Also, I noticed that once I'm done applying it, even if it does not give me any glow to my face, okay, theek hai, chalta hai. But it doesn't even feel as moisturizing. It feels as if, you know, I've applied a gel on my skin of some sorts and it just doesn't sit well underneath makeup too. So I don't really like using this as much and I'm not really a huge fan. Next up, I have this foundation by Key it is their daily dew serum foundation i have mine in the shade 02 sun beige now this is not a new product by any means but they recently reformulated repackaged and revamped uh, this foundation and they i think they have added more foundation shades to it as well now this is supposed to be your everyday kind of skin tint which is supposed to give you a little bit of a coverage and even out your skin tone really well now the shade 02 sun beige is a little too dark for my skin but once i start blending it out it looks okay. I think I don't know in the camera, but when I used it the other day, I used it to work and uh, my colleague, she mentioned that, you know, you look, look a little dull. I think it was because the shade is a little too off. It's a little bit too yellow for my skin. But speaking about the product itself, I like using this product. It just leaves my skin feeling nice and plump. At the same time, just gives me enough coverage where I feel a little bit more confident because of lately, my skin has been going through something. Okay, my skin hasn't been feeling and looking that great so um, I like using this just a little bit I like to mix it with my lighter foundation just so that you know it doesn't look as yellow on me I like how it gives my face that natural skin like finish it does not look too dewy or too matte or too you know glossy it's just right in between it's just like you know if you were to apply a moisturizer and leave your face as is that's the finish that it gives and i like it it does have a little bit of a fragrance to it it's nothing too strong it's okay it doesn't really bother me but yeah this is great this one retails for 950 rupees so uh, it's a bit more on the expensive side for a skin tint but it works and i like using it and i've been using it so yeah this one's great uh, next up also from Kiro is their PH Play Lip and Cheek Oil. Now this is a white 
oil which turns pink depending on your body's pH level which means it is very customizable for each and every skin tone. Now you can use this on your lips and on your cheeks as well. So it's like a two-in-one product. So I sometimes use this underneath my makeup or I like to use it on top of my makeup and whenever I use this on my cheeks it gives my cheeks that you know glow and it looks just plump. In fact, this is the blush that I have on my cheeks right now. I have no moisturizer whatsoever. And if you see a little bit of glow on my cheeks, it's because of this bad boy right here. It gives a beautiful tint behind which stays on your lips for a good four to five hours. I like keeping this in my purse. So whenever I'm like, I don't have any makeup on, I'm like, and it just makes me look a lot more lively. So yeah. Next makeup product I have with me is this concealer by La Mure. It is their Luminous Retouch Hydrating Liquid Concealer. I have mine in the shade Custard and I don't like it. The name says it's a Luminous Hydrating Concealer but on the other hand I feel like it's too MAC and the formulation is not forgiving at all. You have to start blending it right away as soon as you apply it on your face or else it will bunch up and it will not blend. I don't like how it sits on my skin. It makes my under eyes look super heavy and super cakey. I'm someone who doesn't enjoy using concealer that looks heavy and cakey on my skin even though I want that coverage in my concealer. I do not want them to look heavy. Kaafi logon ko shayad ye pasand na aai especially if you're someone who's more into natural makeup. So shayad aapko bilkul bhi pasand nahi aayega. I do not have a lot of lines and creases on my under eyes but it's still made those teeny tiny lines that I have emphasized so much. So if you have a lot of dark circles or lines hai under eyes, pe, I think this will exaggerate those lines even more. So that's the reason why I would not recommend using this concealer or investing in this concealer. It's a pass from me. Next up, and I'm so excited about these, I have these lip tints by La Mure. Now this is their Juicy Tinted Lip Oil. Now this has an innovative gel to oil formulation and it's a tint basically and it's supposed to give your lips a little bit of color while leaving a tint behind. And first things first, look at how gorgeous the packaging is. I absolutely love the packaging on this one. Not only just this, I think all the products from La Mure has absolutely stunning packaging. Oh my god, I love these. I carry these with me in my purse ever since I've gotten them. You can buy this individually but you can also buy them in bundle of three. This is what I have with me. It's the bundle of three in the summer something variant and the shades on this one is so 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 pretty. My favorite shade out of all three is the shade Bayberry. I wore this yesterday and it didn't stay on my lips the entire day. Okay, I wore this to work. I only had to touch it up after having my lunch. So which means it's really long lasting as well. It just gives your lips that popsicle look, which I absolutely love. It's just one of those fuss free kind of lip products that you know, you can apply on the go. You can also apply it on your cheeks if that's what you want. Yeah, I just love using them on my lips and the fragrance on this one is also so good. It's like, oh, it smells so yummy. I would highly recommend you guys trying this one out. Out of everything that I'm talking about in this video, this is something that you guys definitely must try. Okay, last but not the least, also from La Mure, I have their liquid lipsticks and can we appreciate this packaging? Look at how gorgeous the packaging is. I think one of the things that La Mure needs it is the packaging, for sure. I really have to give them that. I did post a short video on these and these have quickly become one of my favorite liquid lipstick formulations. Now, I love the Kiroke liquid lipsticks. Those are very comfortable on your lips. And I thought ki uske baad to aur koi liquid lipstick milega hi nahi, which will be as comfortable as the Kiro ones. But I was wrong. These liquid lipsticks by La Mure are by far the most comfortable liquid lipsticks that I've ever tried. And I'm not kidding you guys. I've tried so many liquid lipsticks. I have a lot of liquid lipsticks with me. So yeah. These lipsticks are just so great. It has that velvety kind of formulation. It does take a while to dry up on your lips and to set completely. But once it's set, it doesn't move, it doesn't budge and it feels comfortable throughout the day. It will feel comfortable from the initial application to the time you take it off. And the packaging is so great. The formulation is also great and the longevity is also very 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 good they have bunch of different shades in it and i have bought the trio 
also in the liquid lipstick. The tinted lip oil was sent to me by the brand, but these lipsticks I purchased myself and I'm so happy that I did. Out of all the three shades that I have, my favorite shade is the shade Prodigy. Oh my God, I absolutely love it. You guys should definitely try out these liquid lipsticks in case if you guys are a fan of a liquid lipstick or butch proof lipstick that will not feel drying or uncomfortable on your lips. These are the ones for you. Okay, last but not the least, I have this fragrance by Bath & Body Works. This is the newly launched Gingham Gorgeous Body Mist. Now, I stopped investing in body mist by Bath & Body Works a long time ago because they don't tend to last on me that long and it's just a waste of my money, I feel. But the other day, I was in the mall getting a gift for my colleague and we happened to smell this fragrance and I absolutely fell in love with this fragrance. I think this is by far the best fragrance that Bath & Body Works has in the fragrance line if i'm going to be completely honest at least for me fruity fresh kind of a fragrance it does have that little bit of that strawberry hint to it but oh boy it smells so sweet yet so refreshing and delicious at the same time without it being super overpowering because oftentimes when there is anything that has strawberry fragrance in it can get a little bit nauseating but not this one this one is more of like a fresh strawberry scent rather than a sweet strawberry scent if you know what i mean i picked the chotu ala bottle which i think is so cute and also convenient to carry in my bag as well oh smells so good smells so yummy love it okay so there you go guys that is it for today's video i really hope you guys like this video and found this video helpful in case if you guys want me to make more of such videos and if you guys want me to try any new products that launched in the market then let me know in the comments down below i would love to go ahead and try it for you guys and then review it for you guys so with that you guys i'm gonna take a leave and i will see you guys in my next video bye linda